Welcome to the Lockdown Lounge. One place in the world that you'd like to be right now, where would it be and why? I'm quite lucky that I'm with the people that, that are nearest to me at the moment. So, um, Does that include us three on this call? You're close no, to no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, this is your first time. Tell the world what you do. Okay, I'm just basically part of the design team at CWA. That's it, really. I'm a humble designer. I'm a mouse pusher. In terms of this time, how critical do you think getting the design work and the message bang on? Some people see design as sort of like a, a non-essential, you know, a luxury, nice to have, you know. But um, the, the type of design that we do, it's it's kind of all about communication, right? Because there's so many important messages that people are trying to communicate at the moment, you could argue that it's it's as important now as it ever has been. Take, for example, the little lectern messages that we see every day on the little government briefings. Without getting too nerdy about it. Here uh, we go. <laughs> hang on. Without getting too <laughs> nerdy about it, um, you know, someone somewhere has thought about the colours, the fonts, the layouts of those. I kept seeing that these messages kept changing. They kept changing the design of it. And I was thinking, what, what are you doing? There's no consistency here. What are you playing at? And then I got around to the way of thinking that Actually, this must be a ploy. There must be some psychology behind this about, you know, kind of refreshing the message and to stop people just becoming blind to it. Um, but then having said that, they then went into a period of just using the same thing for, for a couple of weeks. So I don't know, I'm back around to the, the way of thinking now of maybe it is just pure incompetence. I don't know. People making a lot of analogies uh, with, you know, the, the wartime spirit and that kind of thing. And, and it is kind of a similar thing, you know, to think of those sort of classic wartime posters, keep mum and, you know, dig for victory and, you know, careless mm. talk and all those kind of things. Your country needs you. Actually, hang on, I might have a filter for that one. There he is. <laughs> Your country needs you. <laughs> but you know what I mean? All, all of those posters, they were kind of critical in terms of communicating an important message to the whole nation. And we're in obviously similar times right now where important messages that people need to, need to follow. Sarah, just for new viewers that might not know, what's your role at CWA? I head up the PR division at CWA, helping clients with brand reputation, media relations, crisis comms. One thing that I think a lot of businesses will have potentially realised is we need somebody with a comms specialism and a comms understanding at board or director level to help with the decision making because when a crisis situation occurs and decisions need to be made quickly you need you need to move quickly you send out a message internally to staff saying we're expecting to close 80 percent of operations for the next month for example if you don't get your external comms lined up at the same time you can guarantee that that could potentially get leaked to press then you can quite quickly lose control of a situation which can in turn cause another crisis situation so um, your employees are the closest people to your customers and so keeping your employees happy and having those conversations with customers that would be my kind of almost kind of top tip really for businesses in the kind of coming months. One of your biggest um, tools I think for keeping colleagues engaged at the moment is obviously your video filters. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to use a different one for every business call I've been making. Do you have a top three? Just go in at three. <laughs> in at three. I mean your classic is the potato. <laughs> <laughs> there was that famous example of the woman who became a potato on a an important work call and then didn't know how to turn it off again so she had to spend the whole meeting as a potato. Can we so change it now? It's a bit weird. I love um, it. I mean, you can be a pickle. The pickle's a good one. I like the pickle. <laughs> uh, biro. The good thing about the biro is if I, if I raise my eyebrows, it puts my nib in and out, as it were. <laughs> So there you go, yeah, I mean, it just mixes things up a bit. I mean, we're all having to do, you know, oodles of these video calls, obviously, so it just livens it up a bit. I found it quite interesting how uh, advertising has been completely turned on its head. Obviously, there's a lot of companies just, just not advertising at all because they're shut down, but others, the way that they're communicating is just completely different. For example, your supermarkets, they've obviously stopped being all about, you know, price or quality, that kind of thing. It's all about now 
how they've adapted to make it safer for you and that kind of thing. The screen is to help protect us and you. The best example that I've seen is um, Uber. These companies are spending thousands and thousands of pounds saying thanks for not using our products or services. It's, it's crazy. It's because it's the only way they can get away with advertising without it coming across as distasteful. So they want to be in the public eye. They want to be seen to be seeing the responsible brands. So it's smart. So we're going to have a virtual game of rock, paper, scissors on the screen between you two to choose the end of the show song. So you're choosing the stick song, Dave. I am. My nephew has introduced it to me and he just goes stick, 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 stick. Do you know what, Dave? That, that sounds very similar to mine. So <laughs> which, which, one, which one's yours? Uh, the Badger song. Badgers, 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 badgers. It's a bit of a throwback. It's probably 15 years ago or so. Probably from the same writer. Yeah. Well, but... <laughs> <laughs> we have the stick song versus the Badger song and the ultimate rock, paper, scissors. One, two, three. <laughs> oh. It's a draw. We go again. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dave, you win. You win, I've Dave, well done. I've never, <laughs> seen, I've never seen such a slow rock, paper, scissors budget. In my head, it was going to go so much better. <laughs> Sorry. But I guess it's the stick song. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom, badger, 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 snake, snake. New episodes every Friday at 4 p.m.